ADR, this is King Black. I titled this video, How I Was at the Peak of My Pain Med Intake. You know, after some period of time in the service, I injured my back and hip. And a little bit more than three years later, I'm still living with it. When I was first given meds for the intense pain, I was given hydrocordon, Percocet, and anti-inflammatories. I was introduced to a whole new world. The pain level that I was feeling lowered tremendously, but at the same time, it gave me a high. And after a while, your body starts to build up tolerance. The pain level started creeping back up from before the pain level, before meds, it would be like at a nine, and taking the meds, it would go down to a three. And then as the body became more tolerant to the dosage, you know, it was creeping back up to a five, a six, almost a seven. And the aches were constant. You know, I, I suffer insomnia and and then the temptation starts to creep in to take an extra pill to to try and chase that in, initial dosage where you felt almost no pain. As almost pain free and as almost close to normal as I could feel pre-injury and as my tolerance to my normal dosage grew I would give into temptation not to feel high as most people that take these kinds of painkillers recreationally but I wanted to feel normal normal in the sense that I wanted to feel how it felt before I had pain you know before I felt this the heaviness of my limbs or the numbness in my limbs I just wanted to feel normal more time passed and my conditions have been diagnosed as chronic and was given even more medications for the pain and sleeping pills to battle insomnia then on top of taking more than my dosage I started mixing the medications so for example, one of the medications would say take one in the morning, the other one would say take one right before bed or, or take one in the afternoon. I would take it all at once. You know, I, I wouldn't double the dosage. I might just take all the pills I was supposed to take throughout the day in the morning or around noon time. And hydrocordone or Percocet with Ambien it was usually what I was doing back in that time and it is something that I am not advocating but these are things that I did and while fighting the effects of the Ambien there would be hallucinations feeling light feeling a little bit social you know feeling a little you know like everything is funny sometimes the room would even spin a little that's when you knew you were pretty deep in about a year had passed and I, I'm at the height of my pill intake. You know, I was up taking a cocktail of Oxycontin, Hydro, Cordon, Tramadol, Flexeril at one time just to get through the day. And we're not talking about the lowest dosage of these pills. We're talking about moderate to the highest dosage available. And to make the pain go away, the physical pain, in my case, other people take these pills to escape emotional pain or, you know, not to deal with their everyday struggles. But for me, it was to try and el eliminate the pain so I just felt normal. It's hard to explain. And But in my case, though, what's funny is when I had finished a bottle of meds, I wouldn't be jonesing or I wouldn't be desperate to get more. Where can I get more? Can I get more? You know, I would just take it easy. You know, my mind was still in control. If I didn't have meds for a week, I wasn't actively seeking out more. I would just wait. I would just wait until I got my prescriptions refilled again. And that's the key in my mind, in my mind, in my opinion, between being insane and being an addict 
I was definitely insane at the time for mixing all those pills at one time. But my tolerance had grown to the point where even that was no longer taking the pain away. This is the point where most people would assume that illicit drugs would be the next step. You know, marijuana, cocaine, whatever. But it wasn't. I had the presence of mind to look within myself and realize that I got to take a break and allow my body to recover so that I can actually manage my pain. Because that was my whole struggle was pain management. So I stopped taking the meds for a month, dealing with the pain daily, feeling the rawness, which if I could describe it, it's like in my muscles and under my skin, it felt like a raw sunburn and somebody raking an iron nail or their nails constantly against that muscle, against that sunburn feeling, that kind of a pain. And so I stopped taking meds for a month. And for me, in my particular case, it wasn't it wasn't hard. You know, maybe I'm just the exception to the rule, but I managed to get through the pain. After that period of abstinence, one tramadol was enough to manage the pain again, even if for a short time. You know, I truly feel for those who end up addicted to the feeling. But when I was at, when I was at the peak of the cycle, the body felt numb. I was just existing. I didn't really feel alive, and it's a hard feeling to explain. But I was living life without living it. If you are addicted to medication, I urge you to open up about it and seek help. Tragically, there are those who want to keep pushing the limits of what their body can tolerate. And this can lead to a fatal overdose. And at the end of the day, I think everyone would like to live to see tomorrow. You know, I have to reiterate, in my particular case, I wasn't chasing the high. The high, for me, was a bonus, but that's not what I did, what I started taking so many pills for. Keep in mind, these were prescribed to me. It's just, the, my body was building such a tolerance over time, after months of taking the same dosage. And still struggling with insomnia, with the pain, with the constant cramping. You know, being only in my early 20s and dealing with this pain and having doctors tell you wait till you get to your mid 40s or your early 40s and that's when you're really going to feel it. So instead of chasing the dragon, you know, I was just chasing the feeling of being normal because when I was taking these pills and the pain level would go down, you know, it's kind of like... Turning off all the sound in your house, you're taking a break from the pain. You know, when you're turning off all the sounds in your house, your computer, your cell phone, your TV, and that silence you feel, well, I had that same kind of feeling, but with the pain. You know, I'm dealing with pain all the time, just like your sound all the time in the world. You know, from the cars, from everything. But when I took those pills, and I, I was barely feeling any pain at the height of that cycle. I, I almost could feel how it felt like to not have that chronic pain. And that's what I was addicted to. Not the highs that it brought. Not the hallucinations. Not the uh, off balance that I was being. You know, taking those kinds of pills... especially together, puts you in an altered reality. And to some people, they love it, they love it. I mean, they actively seek that kind of experience. But for people who truly take medication for pain management, it's extremely hard to not do what I did because sometimes the pain increases let's say they put you on tramadol only without any other pills and after about four to six months your body builds up a tolerance to that dosage and your doctor doesn't feel comfortable with prescribing you hydrocordon or Percocet or whatever else because you know there is a potential for abuse there or some people sell it 
and so people are taking four or five trauma dog pills and these things can kill you they can kill but i just wanted to share my experience and y'all be safe